So finally, after all these years, Apple will be implementing RCS into the iPhone coming in 2024. This is a great thing to hear. This is officially coming from a spokesperson from Apple to 9to5Mac where we're getting this information from. And the way they're gonna do this is gonna be implementing it through an RCS universal profile, which probably deliver out through an update either a minor or a major one. This is gonna bring those iMessage-like features to work between iPhone or Android users, such as read receipts, typing indicators, reactions, and what I think is the biggest deal is gonna be high quality video and images, which is why pretty much everyone's gonna main complaint has been recently with a lot of this stuff. It should help with them creating better group chats over walls well too. You're gonna be able to use this over Wi-Fi and data. That's one of the advantages of RCS. And if you're not sure what RCS is, it's basically evolution of SMS and MMS and the way sort of Android sort of communicate with each other to support some of those same iMessage-like features with that same end-to-end -end encryption. And the way Apple's going to do this is they're gonna implement it as well too and replace SMS and MMS with RCS. But iMessage is still gonna be its own sort of silo thing on the side that still supports its own encryption style that Apple still promotes as the better version of all that stuff. That's also going to be there. They're just going to use RCS to kind of bring in other devices and Android users into the fold to kind of create one harmonious family, which is great to hear because it really should not matter what device you have in terms of communicating with friends and family. And this is a great thing to see. I'm hoping they implement this fully and not some sort of halfway. I want to see that if there's an Android user in an iPhone group chat, that they're all going to be able to sort of communicate and have the same features and functionality for the most part, maybe some iMessage exclusive things, but the basic stuff should be there so everyone can communicate and chat like they should. What's interesting about this is how long they fought against adding RCS support because they knew iMessage was a way that it was keeping people locked into the iPhone and they were using that to keep people in because they knew it was very difficult to leave out of that, especially the way group chats and communication worked when you weren't an iPhone user. So it's gonna be interesting to see if people sort of switch over. Share your thoughts. Are you gonna switch over now knowing that this is gonna be implemented in and the messaging between iPhones and Androids in terms of group chat stuff is about to get a little bit better who knows because Apple can be like I said a little shaky sometimes with these things but we'll see how this all kind of comes to be another question I have is are they going to open up FaceTime to Android users because interesting thing is that I believe it was Steve Jobs that said FaceTime is supposed to be an open platform it's supposed to work on more than just Apple devices so we'll implement that as well too but besides that it's really good to see this that now it's not going to matter what device you have it's going to be good high quality communication you're not going to have to buy your mom an iPhone thanks for watching